Although Joram Peterson has talked many times about Andrew Tate and mostly his opinions are well balanced. He praises Andrew Tate for his lifestyle, resilience and masculinity. However, on the other hand, there is a critical aspect that he discusses and today we will watch this video regarding that. I think his perspective being a psychologist delves into the particular mindset that falls within the definition of a psychopath in psychology. Joram Peterson has mentioned this idea and after watching this video we will also discuss it. Please subscribe who are new to the channel. Let's start the video. Part of the reason that people like Andrew Tate are so attractive to young guys is because Tate's a fighter. It's clearly the case that he's got a certain degree of physical bravery. That's real. There's an element of what he says that's very attractive to bedroom basement dwelling losers because he's at least there out in the world taking the blows and he's got a fast car and he's flashy and he's attractive to women. But a lot of what he's done, especially with women, doesn't just border into the psychopathic, it crosses the line. What do you think about Andrew Tate being psychopathic? As far as my thoughts and opinions go, I believe that everyone has flaws. Just as Joram Peterson says, everyone learns from their mistakes and should strive to grow. In my view, no one in the world is perfect. People make mistakes, but they rectify them and move forward. I have seen prominent personalities who were involved in significant controversies completely change their lives. If you observe, there are big stars who have turned religious, leaving their past behind. They have changed their lives significantly. Many people commit grave sins, but ultimately by leaving those things behind, they move towards a better path. According to Peterson, since nobody is perfect in the world and if someone is moving towards improvement they should not be excessively criticized. There have been cases where individuals striving for goodness were criticized and as a result they turned towards negativity again. Therefore, I don't think Jordan Peterson is overly critical of Andrew Tate. Perhaps excessive criticism can divert someone from the right path. I believe that individuals who, after leaving negativity and moving towards goodness, should be appreciated. What is your opinion on this? Please share your thoughts. Take care.